Okay, so so just to, to clarify, so we're we're proposing a, a larger millionaire tax that's going to expand the higher earners and how we hit them. Now we're also throwing in the business tax surcharge, which granted, uh, according to the statistics, are saying it's just under or just over uh, under 10 percent of the businesses will be hit. But understand something. Basically, what we're doing is, and I'm going to go back to the education and the and the. Uh, what we are putting into education, both basic and higher education. We're proposing a $1.5 billion increase in education funding. We have the Excelsior Scholarship Program, proposing the DREAM Fund and DREAM Act, the Martin Luther King Scholarship Fund. Why are we doing all of this? We're doing this because we want to give our kids a chance at success. I think we'd all agree, right? That's why we're doing this. We're spending all this money, we're pushing, we're trying to get them educated to give them a chance at success, but yet, if they actually have the audacity to succeed, we hit them with these success penalties. Let's hit them with a millionaire tax. Let's hit them with a business surcharge tax. By the way, the business surcharge tax and the reason we're not hitting all of the businesses, because many small businesses like myself, actually, they own the business, so any profit is considered personal income tax. So any really successful small business owner who won't get hit with the business tax surcharge will most certainly get hit with the millionaire tax if they succeed. So again, we're spending all this money, all this effort, rightfully so, trying to prepare our kids for a great future so that we can punish them if they actually do succeed. What we're actually doing here is we're spending all this money and we are giving a great education to our children so we can send one of the most highly educated workforces to North Carolina and Texas and Arizona and Florida, but certainly not here because we are losing population at record levels. And by the way, it's not just the people. See, these people, many of which are business owners, these are entrepreneurs, these are job creators. When they leave, they will take those jobs and these kids' futures with them. We have to be very, very careful when we continue to punish. When we push for success, then turn around and punish it and chase people away. That's why I'll be voting against this bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.